My client doesn't understand English. Can you please call the interpreter for me? Dear providers, this video is for you if you would like to use a language interpreter over the phone. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Alhan and I'm a language interpreter and children's author. Many providers cannot get their work done without a language interpreter. If you are one of those providers, I would highly appreciate it if you follow these pieces of advice. I am an interpreter, so I'm at the other end of it, and I'm talking from experience. First of all, when you're calling the interpreter, the interpreter has to introduce themselves to you. So please be patient and give them the chance to do so. The minimum they have to tell you is their name and the language they are interpreting from and into based on the company that they're in contract with or based on your policies. They may have to provide you with many other information. I have a video about that. Check it out if you're interested. Then the interpreter has to introduce themselves to the patient or the client. Please give them the chance to do so they need to check if they understand the patient well enough to be able to interpret for them. Sometimes the interpreter and the patient speak the same language, but it's two different dialects. In some circumstances, they are able to modify each of their dialects to be able to understand each other. At other times, they are not able to do so. So this introduction is very important for this particular matter. Give them the chance to do so. And also the interpreter has to check that there is no conflict of interest. If it's a patient they have interpreted for before and there was a misunderstanding, so they don't want to do it again. Or if it's a family member, all these are considered conflicts of interest and they will have to dismiss themselves and transfer the call to someone else. I know some providers have no option and this is the only interpreter available in that particular language. So even if the dialects are different, the provider likes to ask the interpreter to do the best they can, knowing that the interpretation will not be as accurate as if it was another interpreter speaking the exact dialect. That's again at your discretion. It's up to you. You make the choice. Some patients prefer to have an interpreter who is of the same gender. For instance, some women who are pregnant prefer to have a female interpreter. So keep those things in mind and be ready to change the interpreter for your patient. Interpreters do not get offended by this. We are used to it. Because you are over the phone, sometimes sounds do not get to the interpreter clearly, especially if there is background noise, if you have a distance between you and the phone, if you have a mask on, please keep those things in mind. Try your best to minimize the barriers. If you can take your mask off, take it off. If not, get as close as possible to the phone. Please speak up. Also, the patient needs to speak up. Sometimes the interpreter will have to remind you of that if they are not able to hear you. Because you are not able to see the interpreter, it's important to know that the interpreter takes notes as you're speaking so that they can relay your information to the patient. Sometimes the interpreter needs a few extra seconds after you finish what you've said to finish their notes. So once you're done speaking, please keep that in mind. Give them the extra two to five seconds that they need to finish up their notes before you ask them to start interpreting or before you ask them where they are. Keep that in mind. They are finishing up their notes. Some calls can go very long, an hour or sometimes even longer. Keep in mind that based on the interpreter's experience and however long their day was, their brain would get tired. So please check on the interpreter, ask them if they need to transfer the call to another interpreter, or if you're willing to give them a two minute break to just breathe a little bit, drink some water, start back again. Sometimes you might have to ask the patient to do some blood work or give you a urine sample and the interpreter has to wait. Some companies allow their interpreters to wait for a certain amount of minutes and some clinics allow their providers to keep the interpreter on the line without them interpreting for a certain amount of minutes. Please check your own policy and ask the interpreter for how long they can wait and be relaxed about it. Rest assured that they're okay to wait. It's part of their job to wait over the phone. Some providers are concerned that the interpreter is waiting, but that's okay. It's part of the job. As long as the company the interpreter is in contact with allows it and as long as 
your clinic or your place of work allows it. At the end, make sure you inform the interpreter that you are going to end the call. Interpreters are always happy to hear your feedback. So if they've done a good job, it would be great to thank them. If you have a suggestion for them, you can either tell them or the company that they're working in, depending on what exactly is going on. But please make sure that you inform them before you end the call. That's it on my end. Hope these points were helpful. If my fellow interpreters have more suggestions for the providers, I would be happy to read them in the comment section below. So dear provider, check the comment section below. If this is the kind of content that you'd like to see, make sure to subscribe, share a like, and hit the notification bell and see you next week.